Okay guys, so I'm about to show you my grandma's house here in Brazil, which is where I always stay when I come. And this is the first thing you see once you get here. So it's all pretty and clean and cute. And to the side next to the door, once you come in, is this stand over here. It has all these pretty decorations like a regular grandma's house would have. And under it is where we keep all of the things for the kitchen to set up the dining room table and some cookies and things like that. And here's this clock. I freaking love this clock because it strikes every half hour and like it strikes as many times as the hour is. So I know when I'm wasting too much time on YouTube. So here in the living room, there's always some kind of toys because she has so many grandkids. And then here are my pictures. Here's, oh, there's me when I graduated high school and then my middle school picture. And yeah, just a couple more pictures here. And this is the setup, like here's a sofa. Oh my gosh, this is Frank. So he's named after Frank Sinatra, which is a funny name for cat, but that's him. The cute table and like I said, it's my grandma's house, so she has pictures everywhere of all of her grandkids. That's me and my cousins. And yeah. And here are all the decorations, some antiques. And here is the little TV stand. It says Va, which means grandma. And it's your traditional Brazilian household. Here you have like the little cloth and it's all cute and decorated with the pictures. You got your saints, your religious figures. And here outside the window, you don't have the prettiest view of the city, but you have a view of Maracanã, which is the Olympic Stadium, which is bad near show's time because they get way too loud. Here is the dining room table, so everyone always comes here to eat on Sundays, so that always has to be set up. And she has more decorations, cute things, pictures, and this is my grandma's room that we're entering now. So as you can see, she's got the rocking chair, she's got, this is her bed, and then under it there's another bed for guests or anyone because she's the only room with the AC on here. And then she has more pictures and like religious figures because religious, I mean Brazilians are pretty religious, so... We always have those on deck in the households. Here it says, Na casa da vovó sempre tem um real, which means at grandma's house there is always a dollar <laughs> or one real. And then this is her stand where she keeps all her things. And watch ya! That's me right there. <laughs> and then here are picture, more pictures of her grandchildren everywhere. But you keep grandma. This is a picture, I mean, sorry, not a picture, this is a video of her TV set, and yeah, now we're entering this little closet that she has in her room, and this kind of can be used as a storage space, which it basically is, because it's too small, so there are a lot of books over here, she has more pictures, computer, chairs, and things like that, basically. And now going into the bathroom. Now this is a pretty spacious bathroom. I mean, look at the shower. And then every Brazilian home, I guess, has like this little box where you can switch from winter to summer. So it can change the temperature and gas and all that. And then here is the mirror, the sink, the necessities that there is going on here. And that's me again. <laughs> and now we're on the way to the second room. So right here, there's more pictures. Can you believe that even the cat has a picture here? I mean, look at Frank, just sniffing those flowers. <laughs> like he owns the place. And here is the guest bedroom. So I stay here when I come, whoever stays here, everyone can stay here. So here is the closet, and this is where I filmed my last video, and well, I'll probably film my next one. A fan, because there's no AC, so you would die without it. A TV stand, and that's where I put my camera when I filmed. And yeah, this is the table. I thought of cleaning it up for the video, but it was too much work, so I just kept it how it is. And this is my Law of Attraction Planner, which I plan on showing you guys all about it because it is amazing and I love it. And then over here, my dad keeps his best dad award that we gave to him. Duh, because he's the best, number one. <laughs> And then here is a trophy for that I got from soccer when I was young. And now we are on the way to the kitchen. This is where the magic happens because everyone comes over here to eat. <laughs> so when they do, 
this is where we put all of the plates and all of the foods. Everyone loves eating at grandma's house. This is the setup. In every Brazilian home, there's like these little trash cans. Like they don't have big ones. It's the small one usually. And they always have these traditional soaps. This one long one and then this other soapy one. And then this is how it all looks like. The whole, the plates, the cups, the whole shebang. The microwave, pantry, we got the fridge going on, all the magnets for every little kid's birthday party that they sent out that we put here on the fridge. And then over here, we're getting to the coffee pot, the stove, oven, and here we keep all of our spices and also usually the baskets filled with fruits, but I guess we ate it all. And usually in Brazilian homes, the maid sometimes lives there also, so here is where you usually wash the clothes. And they usually have a bathroom and a room, so that's what's going on. And over here you see the washer, and you might ask, where is the dryer? Well, let me show you. The dryer is up there because it's so hot, the clothes can dry themselves. And then you just unhook that when you want to clothes to come down. And here is the back door and another dryer. And I'll show you guys the view from outside, but it's nothing spectacular. You can't really see anything because of the buildings. But yeah, let me show you the maid's bathroom. But the maid doesn't live here at our home, so it's just vacant. So we kind of use it for storage. It's still usable, but yeah, because having maids here is very, very, very common. So sometimes they live with you. In this case, they don't live with us. And then this is the maid's room, it's supposed to be. But like I said, since we they don't live with us, it's just storage. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys get an understanding of a traditional Brazilian apartment here in Rio de Janeiro. And yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.